All right, so we'll call the regular uh, meeting of the Martin Public Housing Agency to order for February 23rd. Um, the meeting is being held uh, via video conference due to COVID. The public may not attend in, per attend in person. So there is time reserved on the agenda for citizens to be heard. Any citizen to be heard can address the board by calling 218-299-5463. And so I'm Greg Lemke, the chair of the board. If the other members would like to introduce themselves and also would like to welcome our newest member, um, Ahmad. I'm Alexa Dixon, Greg's the secretary. And I'm, I'm Ahmed Issa, the, the newest member. <laughs> And I'm Don Bacon. I'm the director with Moorhead Public Housing, and I have Tony Vondal, our housing manager, in the office with me. Okay, um, and Ahmed, just uh, so you're aware that um, since we only have three members here, that when I call for a motion, I I can't um, make a motion or second it. So it'll just be you and Alexa kind of trading off as we go through the agenda. So. Are there any agenda amendments? I have no amendments. Any citizens to be heard at this time? Not at this time. Okay. So our first item is then uh, approval of minutes. So request board approval of the January 26th. So, the, of the January 26th uh, meeting. Make a the motion. agenda's moving. I don't know if you know that, Don. Oh, sorry. I was just putting. I was just scrolling on the minutes so people could see our minutes. That's oh, all. Okay. <laughs> but I'll I'll move back up if that's making could be a little disorientating. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. So I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes from January twenty sixth meeting. I'll move to approve the minutes. Is that a second, Ahmed? Yep, approved. Okay. So I, I wasn't there, but I've, I've read a little bit. Sure, okay. So we have a motion and a second. Uh, any questions, comments about the minutes? If not, um, all those in favor of approving the minutes? Aye. 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 Opposed? Vote carries. The next item is request approval for payment of bills. And I will scroll down on this one just so you can have that right in front of you. Sure. Um, so um, for a meds benefit, I'll also maybe give a little more background. This is where we show all of the checks that the agency has issued since the last board meeting. Um, and my signatures on the check as well as um, Greg as our board chair representing the fact that our board does review our expenditures from month to month as a regular part of the board meeting. Um, I always like to just point out for the board if there was anything out of the ordinary or unusual over the last month. And um, this last month was fairly typical. Um, we did have some capital funding grant expenses of 32,000, and that was for um, looking at some basement and foundation repairs that we did to address some issues at some of our scattered sites. Um, we also, I transferred some money into our savings account because we just didn't need that amount of money in our checking account. We want to be able to draw interest whenever possible. Um, but beyond that, it's a very typical month of expenditures. Any other questions or any questions for Don about the finances? Not at this moment. Okay, so I'll entertain a motion to approve. I'll move to approve. Approve. Okay. okay. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a motion and a second. Any other questions or comments? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is other business. So we welcome to our new board member. Um, Ahmed, I don't know if there's anything else you want to say or is it by way of an introduction? 
Yeah, my, my name is Ahmed Issa. I've lived in uh, Moorhead area, I mean Moorhead specifically for the last five years. I've moved from Salt Lake City, Utah. I've lived there for a while, since 2008, uh, before I moved from Kenya, where I've lived in a refugee camp for about 17 years. I was born in Kenya, lost mom and dad there. I was raised and taken care of all this. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, and, and again, welcome. Welcome to, to Moorhead, even yeah. though you said you've been here about five years, but welcome. Thanks, and we man. look forward to meeting you in person, hopefully sometime soon. <laughs> yeah, nice to virtually meet you, Ahmed. Yeah. I hope so. Thanks. All right, so our next item is the POP application to Minnesota Housing Finance Agency. Yeah, so great news. Um, the RFP was released by the Minnesota Housing Finance Housing Agency Finance. for the POHP program, and that stands for Publicly Owned Housing Program. Um, this is a program that is used geo bonds through the state of Minnesota to provide um, additional funding to housing authorities who are federally funded, but we don't get enough money to address all of the capital needs that we have. Um, we use the POHP process to renovate elevators at both the high rise and sharp view over the last year. And so on this next round, which is competitive across the state of Minnesota, we are zeroing in on applying for funding to replace all of the windows at Riverview Heights high rise. And we've talked about it, um, I've talked about this with the board in the past, but um, the total estimate um, for that project is around six or $575,000 plus um, consultant and architect fees. So it's a very substantial amount of money. It's one that would be very difficult for the agency to save up to address. Um, and, you know, the windows are past their ex their useful life. Um, they're still operational and functional, but the longer we go, the more problems we could see in terms of people being able to open the window or when they open it, having it stay open, you know, those kinds of safety factors, more maintenance time um, in fixing windows when there are problems. And then of course, utility costs is a big one. Um, we know the windows are leaky and drafty. So um, by addressing this, we'd have more money um, that we would save in terms of our heating bill that we can then redirect resources to to other things. So it's good for the agency and good for the environment. Um, so I didn't put this up for like formal board action. I just wanted to have a conversation about it um, and see if you had any feedback as I begin to work on the POHP application. Um, it isn't due until April 29th. So um, if you have any feedback at this meeting or even at our March meeting, there would still be time um, for us to, you know, to, to discuss the application. Um, in a big question um, where I particularly look for board input is the topic of leverage, which is how much we're willing to put in. Um, and of course, the more we're willing to put in, um, the more competitive our proposal is, but it also is less money to spend on other things. And so my thoughts are putting in 150,000 of 2021 capital funding grant money. That money hasn't been awarded yet, but it will be, you know, shortly and would be part of our next five year plan. And then also putting in $56,000, which is 2020 capital funding grant money that we got from the Clay HRA transfer. Um, so that would bring us to around $207,000. Um, which, you know, again, we're estimating on the total cost of the project, but it would put us in, in the neighborhood of, I think it's around that 30% leverage mark, which I think is a nice place to be. Um, so interested in the board's feedback on, on leverage amount, um, as well as any other feedback or questions that you have as I start to work on on this application. We will hear from Minnesota Housing. They anticipate making announcements in July. So we wouldn't actually be able to do the work for like probably about a year from now if we were if we were awarded the funding. Okay, 
Any questions or comments for Don? It's it's good news. Um, I was just going to ask about the timetable, but you covered all that. And as far as the amounts, you know, I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with what you come up with. I mean, you've been successful in getting us grants, and that seems to help when we can leverage some of our own funds. So, if as long as the funds are there, I'm certainly okay with those amounts. Yeah, I was gonna agree with what Greg said that I feel like that makes sense. If you have been working with it, I think that's a good number. Then I feel comfortable going with that. Great. Yeah, and the funds, the the 2020 funds are there. That 56,000. The 2021 funds haven't been awarded by HUD yet, but I am certain that we're not going over the award amount. So you know, we typically over the last few years have gotten around. $270,000 a year. So by having it at 150,000, that puts us in a safe zone as an agency where we're not, you know, committing funding that we we won't have coming in. Um and of course we wouldn't sign the loan documents until that funding comes in. We have our 5-year plan approved by HUD. You know, those those are some things that can follow the application. Sure. Sure. And as long as those none of those funds were earmarked for something else that we're putting off or pulling back on, I think that's good. Yeah, and I will be bringing to you guys um, at the last meeting we talked about, you know, normally our public hearing, actually normally our public hearing would have been today where we sure. would have passed our five-year plan for the capital needs program, but we're pushing it out a little bit into May. So that'll be when you look at that full five-year plan. Um, and I have had a, a number of conversations with our maintenance staff and they've been very helpful in addition to our physical needs assessment and the windows at the high rise are definitely high up on the priority list over other issues. Um, so I feel really good about kind of where we're putting it in terms of timing um, and um, that decision to tackle, you know, those windows um, with the POHP funds. Sure, the um, I, I'm drawing a blank on the, the funds that the city has helped us with in the past through Lisa Bodie. What is the. Yep, what are those? That, yes, good question. That's CDBG, which is okay. the community CDBG. development block grant. OK, Yep, And we actually we had $40,000 of CDBG funding contribute to the elevator. Um, at Sharpview, so that was very helpful. We did have some CDBG funding pass. Um, to address some issues with sprinkler systems. Um, and that will go in our next five year plan okay. and will also be pretty high up on the list, probably happening kind of concurrently with the high rise windows. Um, right now, those funds are not available because of CDBG funding is based on some estimates in terms of their revenue and they haven't gotten the revenue in that they were anticipating. So we are approved in their plan, but we have to wait for that funding to become available. But we do have some more CDBG funds, hopefully coming our way sooner than later. Okay, good. Yeah, it's just always nice to tap into all those resources that we can. So, right. Okay, that yeah, sounds good. Anything else before we move to executive director updates? Okay. Start view roof replacement. Okay, so Ahmed, you're probably noticing that I talk a lot about building and capital needs in my updates. So um, one of the things we're working on right now is um, moving forward with putting it out to bid to replace the, the roof at Sharpview. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that we are working with that consultant. We did that request for qualifications. We talked about that at the last meeting. Um, and we're just working through um getting ready to put that out for bid so that's just that's moving forward um big shout out to moorhead public schools because um we did run across a problem where we needed access to um some drawings that were original to the building and sharpview used to be a school that mm -hmm. was built back in 1951 and i put a a call out to them just through their general email box and i had like two or three people being very helpful within like 24 hours and we were able to find some old drawings which will help kind of help help us along with that project quite a bit so that was very helpful great um, yeah. great 
on the topic of camera upgrades, um, just so you know, I did we did put that out for a request for proposals from different companies um, to upgrade our cam our security camera system at the high rise in Sharp View. Um, we didn't make it where cost was the only factor that we would look at because there are so many different products that we have to learn about and figure out what would work best for our building and for our infrastructure and our budget. So we're kind of looking at a variety of things, but our plan is um, those proposals will be due, I believe in early March, and our plan is to bring a recommendation to the board at our next meeting because um, the cameras is something we're looking at additional basically agency reserves. Um, so that hasn't been budgeted. So that's something we're going to want the board, you know, to review a recommendation about proceeding with um, some camera updates. And our cameras are just, they're very outdated. Um, the resolution is very low compared to what you can get um, with purchasing new cameras. Um, and we're we're looking at some options with our actual like software systems as well and just to see what works best. So we'll we'll have to kind of balance like, you know, what it can provide you with how much it costs. So that'll be a big factor in all of this. So we're just going to gather all our options and and um, formulate a recommendation to bring to the board next month. OK, sounds a plan. And then under under other, um, this is kind of hot off the press, um, but the Bridges funding that we receive, Bridges is a rental assistance program, um, different from public housing because we issue vouchers to people and then um, they use their housing assistance to lease up with private landlords in the community. We operate the Bridges program, which is specific to people with serious mental illness in the Clay, Becker, Ottertail, and Wilkin areas. And that is a competitive program where we compete every two years to be a Bridges provider. Um, our current contract is up on June 30th because it coincides with the state fiscal year. It's state funding that we receive. Um, and the RFP just came out for that. Um, that proposal is due in about a month. So I'm working through that right now. It is a proposal we've, you know, submitted numerous times and can kind of build off of previous. I feel really good about our performance um, in the Bridges program over the last couple of years. So I think we have some good data to present to the state. Um, but just so you know that that is underway. Um, one issue with the Bridges program has been that the admin fee that pays for the administrative work that we do around the program because there's the HAP, which just goes out to the landlord to pay for the person's housing, but then the admin fee helps fund our services. The admin fee has been pretty low and it hasn't changed for quite a while. Um, fortunately, they are proposing an $8 you know, per person per month increase to the admin fee, so that, that will be very helpful to the agency. Um, and I'm forgetting when they will be making announcements about Bridges Awards. I didn't write that down. Um, the new contract would start July 1. So I I'm guessing around, I think it's late April is when they anticipate making, making decisions and awards um, at the Minnesota Housing Finance Agency board meeting. So uh, more to come on that. The other big grant we're waiting for is the Ross grant. Uh, mm. We submitted our three-year renewal. That grant ends April 15th. And um, three years ago, we found out about the Ross grant on February 23rd. So I was hoping today would be the day where I could tell all of you that we were renewed, but no one's heard yet. So it's mm. just a matter of at the federal level with HUD, like all the agencies across the country that applied for this grant, waiting for HUD to tell us if we're renewed. And again, I feel extremely optimistic about getting renewed, but I would sure love to be 100% and have that certainty today, if possible. So um, I'll send an email out to the board because I'm sure I would hope that we would hear before our next board meeting. Okay, yeah, hopefully that would be that would be great. And then I'm sorry, Greg, I have a ton of other, but I'll just do one more other because okay. there's been a number of things that have just come up in the sure. last day or so, but our repositioning application with HUD um, is in a final review stage. So I haven't heard much since I submitted it in late November, 
Um, but HUD did send me some follow up questions today, which is a good sign. Um, so I'll be working on addressing those and then hopefully we should be hearing from them if the repositioning of the scattered sites um, to shift from the public housing program to the section eight program in collaboration with clay HRA if that is approved. Um, if it is approved, then we would need to move forward with selling the units to the LLC, giving tenants notice to that they have this voucher that they can use um, so they know and are counseled about all their options. We're hoping they'll all just stay where, where they are and continue to rent from us, but they will have some other options with the Section 8 voucher. Um, so we'd start working with Clay HRA on all of those next steps, but the HUD approval has to come first. So. Um, we believe that should be we should be hearing in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so waiting on a lot of things, but hopefully it's all good news. So yes, I hope so. All right, so the next item it looks like that we are going to go into closed executive session um, for the purpose of considering offers or counter offers for the purchase of real property described as Clay County Parcel fifty eight point six zero one point zero two zero zero located at. 10 and a half street and 17th Avenue North in the Henry R. Peterson edition of the city of Moorhead. So I'll entertain a motion to go into uh, executive session. I'll move to go into executive session. And do we have a second? Move it. Okay, so I have motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppo opposed? Motion carries, so we will move into closed executive session. It's closed. Did we have anything left after that? Nothing further. No attorney's right. report. Okay, no attorney's report. So the meeting is adjourned. We'll see you all in March, if not before. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, thank you.